بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ہیلو ٹو آل مائی پارٹیسپینٹس ویلکم ٹو ایمز آن لائن ایجوکیشن سینٹر اف یو آر لائک مائی ویڈیو ڈونٹ فور گیٹ ٹو سبسکرائب مائی چینل اینڈ ہٹ دا ویل آئیکون اینڈ اف یو ہیو اینی ادر کیوری ریلیٹڈ ٹو ریسرچ یو کین پٹ ڈاؤن دا کمنٹ اینڈ آئی ول ڈیفینیٹلی میک این ویڈیو آف یور تھیوریز رائٹ so let's start our lesson in the previous lesson i will tell you about uh, what is research in the research i use a term about scientific method so here is uh, we discuss in detail about what is scientific method so what is scientific method scientific method is a systematic controlled empirical and critical investigation of hypothetical proposition about the false relation among natural phenomena so i will ex- explain you one by one terminology in detail systematic systematic means there is a sequence right there is no mean random right you should systematic about your observation your hypothesis your theories and all these things you cannot uh, grab last thing on the front and front thing on the last right after that you can control it's, it's scientific method you can control there's science and you are under control of your uh, observation right after in empirical empirical means numbers number there is certain kind of result certain kind of conclusion and after that critical investigation critical investigation and control means same you have if anything you are under control then you have critically examined that things right and hypothetical proposition hypothetical you uh, those things you we can in your mind mind made right your myths you should say about a suppose relation those relationship you just you suppose and among natural phenomena if your suppose thing have relate with your natural phenomena that it certainly mean there is scientific thing happening which we do not have aware so there is a need to study that thing maybe it's a kind of certain laws certain principle of the universe which we are not aware right so this is why scientific method is help us to dealing in research either we get if we are doing different kind of research is uh, each field uh, each education field each science field each uh, you said uh, engineering field everything based on scientific method right so first step in the uh, uh, our scientific method is observation in the first uh, slide i will tell you about systematic so this is systematic first step is our uh, scientific method is observation people think observation just means saying anything or looking at the something no observation means uses your five senses what is your five senses sense of vision sense of hearing sense of touching sense of smelling sense of tasting right so what sense of hearing you should your uh, from where which organ you use your ears after that you use ear eyes for looking at, around the things and touching from your hand or fingers fingers and tasting from your tongue because there's what is present in the tongue not your uh, nose and from smelling smelling from your nose right so these five things is observation in uh, systematic and you can control the thing from these five senses right after that identify of problem you identify you observing something and then you identify the problem like what is the problem if people think in the past the earth is revolving around the sun and some people think sun is revolving around the earth so you identify the problem there is no solution suppose i know this has got a solution and very well explained so you identify suppose that a uh, problem because suppose hypothetical relation among the natural phenomena so you identify that problem what you should do you should listen different people opinion hypothetical proposition uh, i will give you an example if a lady said that earth is revolve around the sun and the sun is static the lady b said no earth is revolving sun is static and the woman c said both is evolving so you should justify them who is right and who is wrong you should go for an experiment right what you should do is experiment experiment is the same. you should what you do you should start collecting data 
are collecting data, data collected in the, in the documentation, data collected in the pictures form, data collected in the uh, opinion of others, data collection in the all the data, all the sources you have collected your data. After collected data, you should go for an experiment because you, the, all the basis for the experiment are in the data collection. You should go for an experiment. And after experiment, you should know the facts about the result. So data results tell us about, data analysis result about the future results. So people opinion, everything which is right and which is wrong tell about data analysis. They tell us about the results. So if, and according to NASA report, NASA said everything in the universe is moving. And in the, uh, if we are, go our spiritual, our mystical concept about our universe. So in the Quran, 1400 years ago, Quran said that everything in the universe is revolving. So Allah said everything in the universe is moving. So, so Lady C opinion, hypothesis confirmed. The result confirmed that the scientific investigation confirmed that the spaceship and all the experiments you use according to that, find out that phenomena, your hypothesis will be confirmed, right? So if the uh, different experiment have same result, so that means it comes to our theory. If different, if, uh, if I got three experiment on the solar system and three experiment have same result, so it means it's going to become, the hypothesis become a, theory. After that, uh, we conclude the result. We conclude the result, everything in the universe is moving. So sun is also moving as well as earth is moving. Everything in the universe, every particle in the universe is moving. So this is our conclusion build. After that, um, so Quran already said that, so a statement based on repeated experiment observation that describes some phenomena of nature. So the nature to tell us that everything is moving. Quran already tell us, so it's become a law. So here is a whole method, systematic control, the empirical and critical investigation we reach at the point, then everything in the universe is moving. Every particle of the universe is moving. So it's proved that our law is completed. You should uh, take an example around your uh, side. Every side there is a problem. You observing that problem, you, uh, give hypothesis on that problem and after that hypothesis you go theory and on the some phenomena which relate to nature so you can call as law so here is, this is the called scientific method so if you are like my video don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon and if you have any theory related about research you should go down to comment and write your problem and i will make the video about your theory on your demand thanks for watching see you soon and have a good luck for your research bye bye